Welcome back to this week's edition of Carolina Cart Scene, episode number 28. I want to thank everybody for positive comments here lately. Uh, it looks like we're growing again past 300 subscribers, so thanks to everybody. I did realize that I missed one racetrack last week. I mentioned earlier on how Joey had stepped away from promoting at Warrior Creek and that there was going to be a new promoter, but I did not realize that they had a new Facebook page and will be updated and they actually ran this past weekend. Uh, with a lot of tracks in the area, there was a lot of adjustments to times and theirs also because of the heat. Uh, so definitely in the future, definitely check out the different tracks Facebook page see if any adjustments uh, to the day and definitely look out for Facebook and where are your creeks new Facebook page uh, so you get updates when they're running and I've saved it so that hopefully I can keep you more updated as we go into the coming weeks so we got a lot of racetracks running on the holiday weekend and one in Georgia so let's get to it First racetrack I want to talk about is New River All-American Speedway in Jacksonville, North Carolina. They'll be running champ carts in addition to their other big cars that are running because, again, this is one of the larger NASCAR-sanctioned asphalt tracks. Uh, for carts and, and other cars, pits gate open at 1 p.m. with grandstands open at 5 p.m. Uh, they have a really active Facebook page with and a YouTube channel with a lot of the races that they have going on there. So if you're interested in checking out the champ cart before you go out there, definitely something to look at. Uh, but again, hopefully you'll be able to end this area and get out and watch and support them. First dirt track we want to talk about in North Carolina is Liberty Raceway Park running on September the 2nd. Uh, again, a very large uh, contingent of classes that they're running. They always put on a great show. And again, uh, they also have a really good Facebook or YouTube feed of all of the different races that they do have. Uh, they always have a lot of carts that come out and watch the particular race and everything. Uh, so definitely check them out. They have a lot of guaranteed money on the line. Uh, this is an open tire event, so definitely you'll see probably more Maxis at this event than any other tire because of the, the surface and they do have. Uh, great facility, so hope we can get out and watch them. Also running North Carolina holiday weekend is Margaretsville Speedway in Margaretsville, North Carolina, which is in the northeast corner of North Carolina. They got a lot of different money classes that are going to be on the line. Ducar Champ 425, Ducar Sprint 375, some junior classes, junior champ. Uh, definitely a great little facility. I've been out there before as you've seen some of the videos I posted before and also some of the stock footage that I used during the episodes. Uh, great facility. I don't know exactly what time they're going to be opening for gates or racing, but typically do open a little bit earlier in the day. Uh, so definitely check out their Facebook page for any updates and hopefully you can get out and race with them. Next up, running in South Carolina is the Big 3 Challenge Series running at Foothills Raceway. We talked about this race last week a little bit as we were given a prelude to a couple of races coming up at the Foothills Raceway. Uh, gates opening up at 3 p.m. with prices start at 6 p.m. They got a lot of classes that are going to be running. Pro Clone, Pro Champ, Pro 425, also junior classes they'll be running. Uh, this is also an event that is a Maxis Tire Transfer National uh, class, so definitely check those out. In addition to this, those that run the entire series with Big 3 also go into a running for an Ultra Max racing chassis. Uh, so something definitely to check out, check out their different races they do uh, have coming up. So in just in case you didn't get enough racing on Saturday night, it was Sunday, September the 3rd, Outback Speedway in Great Court, South Carolina, is going to be having the Labor Day Smackdown. They'll be having a lot of classes, clone 350, 375, 390, uh, 425, so just keep stacking the lead every time you come off the track and just go right back on there. Uh, they also have a lot of junior classes, clone uh, traded classes, uh, and uh, some senior champ 425, so definitely a uh, racetrack to look at. They will gates open at 4 p.m. with practice start at 6 p.m., so hopefully you can get out and support them. Next up running in South Carolina is Rocky Creek Cartway. I've talked about this track a couple of weeks ago. It's a racetrack that's trying to get up and started. Uh, they've had to cancel because of weather or lack of interest, and hopefully this will push them over the edge to get more people to come out because on September 1st and 2nd, Friday and Saturday, they're going to be having the National Lawnmower Racing Championship. Gates opening up all day. Uh, racing for the lawnmower start about 5 o'clock on both days. 
Uh, actually, registration on 5 p.m. and 3 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Uh, but on Friday night, they'll actually have the carts will be available for open practice on Friday night. So if you're interested in running this track or getting some seat time or some logging in some laps for a junior racer, uh, great little facility, great little racetrack. Uh, so definitely uh, track hopefully you get out. It's located just off I-77 uh, near exit 55 uh, in between obviously Columbia and Rock, Rock Hill. Uh, but it's again a great little facility to get out to. Next up running on this particular holiday weekend is Southern Cartway in Lawrence, South Carolina. Uh, later this week I'm going to post a video of their amateur medium clone race that they had. Uh, great facility, great layout they have of their uh, racetrack and the pit area and the tech area. Uh, I really liked when we ran here a couple of weeks ago because uh, it's really flat. It was really easy to push the cart around and get into the grid and everything. Uh, great run facility and uh, gates opening up at 1.30 with practice start at 3.30. Uh, this will be one of their normal events that they will have on this particular day. So definitely check out their Facebook page for any updates they will have. Also racing in South Carolina is going to be Paradise Raceway in Cellar, South Carolina. Terry Over Promotion is going to put on the third race of the GOAT Series. This is actually a makeup race from earlier in the year where it got rained out and had to move a couple of the dates around. Uh, they're doing the Labor Day Bash. In addition to them, also Dan Keefe is also running the Triple Threat Junior Pro classes are going to be on the line. Uh, a lot of great money, a lot of great things going to be on the for this particular race. Gates open up at 8 a.m. Practices start at 10.30 with that one. Uh, Pro Clone Heavy, Pro Cl Super Heavy is going to run in for $2,500 to win. And then in the junior classes, they're actually Pro Junior 1, Pro Junior 2, and Pro Junior 3 are all going to be running for $3,000 guaranteed. Uh, that's going to be really interesting. If you've been watching some of my other videos or watching in this area, Junior 1 and Junior 2 is a really competitive uh, group of racers. Uh, really great racers. They all, they all put on a great show. Sometimes they put on a better show than some of the older uh, classes. So this would definitely be something to come out and watch if you are in the area and want to see a good race being put on. Uh, so a lot of the details for their race is on Bob's Four Cycle Forum. Uh, also check out Facebook pages for any updates for later in the week. Running on holiday weekend in Georgia is High Rev Speedway in Nashville, Georgia. They'll be running the Labor Day Special. Gates open at 12 p.m. Practices start at 3 p.m. Uh, they've got a lot of different classes you'll normally see. In addition, they're going to have Pro Limited Flathead, uh, Pro Sumer, Super Heavy Limited, Sumo Super Heavy, and a lot of junior classes. So definitely a really interesting race to come out to, and hopefully you'll be able to go watch them.